Hey, this is Stan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and I'm doing a little home project this weekend. So I've got this fountain that I picked up last year, and I set it up for the for my wife in the backyard. She absolutely loves it. I hate it. I love the look of it, but what happens is the the feature needs to be filled up two, three times a day, and can't have it. I, I want it to run 24/7. By running it 24/7. Um, I don't have to get out there, plug it in, and refill it up with water and everything. I, I want low maintenance. And you know what? If we install something in your backyard, we want it to be low maintenance too. So let me show you what, uh, what I'm going to do to make this a low maintenance water feature. Here I've got a typical three-tier fountain. We've got a pedestal, and uh, the pump wires and everything come up through the pedestal. Then they come up through the bottom basin right here, and that's where the pump typically would sit. And then it pumps it up to, let me show you. I'm sorry, I got it all dis disassembled right now. Pumps it up to a middle bowl. It's turned upside down right now. And then here's a, a centerpiece, and then three frogs. And then it's got an umbrella that the frogs are holding. And then the water just kind of rains down. It's not made to be something overpowering or anything. It's just meant to be three-tiered fountain that's kind of raining down. But the bottom basin is not even, it's not big enough to be capturing all the water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my aqua basin. I'm going to sink it into the ground. It's a large enough footprint to capture any water. Now instead of... All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set everything up on this aqua basin. This aqua basin is gonna be the reservoir. It's gonna be hidden underground. You can see it's got access for the pump, so I can access it anytime. Plug it in nearby. I'm gonna set my pedestal up, run my wiring through it, my plumbing. This is no longer gonna be my basin where the pump sits, okay? This is gonna be a spillover. So that'll be the third spill. So we're, it's going to come out of the top, drip down, rain down on the, the frogs, go into the upper bowl, spill down into the lower bowl, and then spill down into my aqua basin. And we'll have some decorative gravel down there. So here we go. Let me get started on this. All right, sorry. Forgot to videotape. I got so hung up on getting this done. I just wanted to get it in the ground and get going. I totally forgot the videotape. Anyways, so I got the basin in. What I did is I leveled it out. You want to get it as level as possible. That way, when you set your top piece on, no matter what it is, if it's a three-tiered fountain, basalt stones, spillway bowl, you want to get it level so you don't have to go and shim everything later. So this is really close. I mean, I couldn't get it any more level. So got a pump vault here I've got my plumbing hooked up you can see it coming out the top I got a couple more pieces to put on top and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse down the entire basin because I've got a lot of dirt in it once that's all done um, I'm gonna pick out a decorative stone to go around here but what I like to do and I'll show you a little bit later um, what I like to do is I don't like to follow just the square because it looks too it looks too preformed it looks too planned out so what I'll do is um, I'll bring maybe a boulder here in the corner and I'll bring some landscape fabric down and I'll, I'll take the, uh, the gravel and put it over and through here. Now I do have some hostas popping up here. This is one of my favorite hostas here. Um, and I've got some over here and that'll help cam camouflage it. But hostas in Michigan, it's the perennial. So I want to make it look good all the time. So a hosta is just not going to do it. So I want the decorative gravel to really to really look good in here. So I might might use uh, crushed field stone. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm going to go pick some things out and then see how I like it. So stay tuned and uh, I'll be back. All right, so it's all cleaned up. Got all the rest of the plumbing done. What I have left to do is I'm going to get a diverter valve just to tone down this a little bit so I can control more of the splash at the bottom. My hostas can take a little bit of water. I don't want to drown out any of the other plants. 
plus I want to get capture as much of that water and minimize my splash. Now I could put a bib of liner all the way around that to, to contain it, but I really don't want to accentuate too much of the, um, the gravel at the bottom. I don't want to come out too far. Maybe a little bit over here, maybe a little bit over here, but I don't want to come out into my lawn anymore. So if I tone this down at the top and just have it just a little bit, I just want it raining down off of the umbrella. See these cute little frogs underneath there? I think that's why my wife fell in love with this fountain. That and the little birds that are in here. But that's it. Maintenance-wise, um, top it off with water every now and then. And maybe add a, a splash of uh, algicide just to kind of keep, uh, keep the algae at bay. That's it. What do you think? I'm gonna head up to the, the store. I'm gonna pick up some decorative gravel, a couple different samples and see what I can find. Um, and then that's it. Quick little project. You guys uh, have any comments, leave them down below. Hit that like button. That way I can keep making these videos and I know at least somebody's watching. Thanks a lot.